Hello everyone. So, sometime back or maybe earlier this year, I made a video where uh, I basically discussed how to handle uh, the situation where you have, let us say, a ThinkPad or maybe any. I think I think it will work with any laptop with a dock. So I use a ThinkPad with a dock or ultra base in this case, and. Uh, everything is connected to the dock because the dock has all the connections and you know the the um, all the wires actually go into the dock or ultra base and then i just place my laptop on top of my ultra base right whenever i am working i usually don't uh, carry this thinkpad 220 uh, a lot with me because i mostly work from home but uh, of course i do carry it with me if i have to maybe go somewhere because this is my main machine uh, and when I am not using ultra base things are slightly different because you might not have your monitor you might not have your webcam unless you're carrying it separately you might not have your mic you might not have your uh, connected external hard disk so you need to maybe configure things slightly differently and because I use Arch Linux and in Arch Linux you have to basically make sure or you have to configure the, everything yourself. For example, if I detach, if, if I lift my laptop, it will not turn off my monitor. Basically, the monitor will be still active. So let's say if I have some windows on the main monitor, like this monitor, which is right now I'm using for making this video, those will videos will stay here, but I don't really have access to it. So basically, what you need to do in that case, you need to maybe run a command to turn off that particular display. Now, good thing about uh, Linux is that everything is so whenever you are using uh, let us say uh, a dock or whenever you're not using a dock you can basically look at this particular file right so there is a file called uh, uh, I mean you have to go to sys devices platform dock uh, depending upon you know numbers usually for me it is number two you can see here that right now I'm using uh, the dock and that is why we have the number here one right so this is great now based on this you can write a very simple bare minimum shell script now this shell script is something which is uh, based on whether the talk is attached or not or whether the laptop is on the ultra base or not it will do something now right now i run a couple of commands in fact i run two two commands usually for example right now it is uh, whenever it is whenever i lift my laptop it will turn off the monitor number one and it will also turn off the or it will also disconnect or not disconnect but it will also can use the laptop's internal wi-fi uh, chip for example i use basically a command usually and i do it manually unfortunately i don't really have like a proper way of doing it for example i use an nmcli which is basically it is it is basically a very nice tool, uh, a very nice utility to manage your Wi-Fi uh, connections, I guess, mostly Wi-Fi, I guess. Uh, I'm sure it will work with Ethernet. Never, never really tried it. Uh, but uh, I use uh, a dongle because my laptop's Wi-Fi uh, chip or you know that card is not really great. Something is wrong with... I mean, it works, but sometimes it is a bit slow and it is... Uh, uh, the connection drops or maybe the signals it is not it's probably not good for catching the signals although my my wi-fi router is downstairs but what i do whenever i lift my laptop from the ultra base i have to of course use my laptop's internal internal wi-fi card so what i do i basically use uh, this command called nmcli device connect and then i connect to it so what i do is I basically have this command here whenever the whenever it is not docked and if I of course go back to my my uh, my ultra base I disconnect the card um, and I connect to the other one the basically the you know external dongle with the antenna I also have to set the keyboard map for some reason whenever I lift my laptop the keyboard is messed up so I make sure the keyboard is uh, the UK keyboard which I do here using set xkbmap. Now the thing is how to how to run the script because all of this should happen 
automatically. Now, whenever I lift my my laptop from the ultra base, this script is not really executed immediately. But if instead what I do, I, I do something which is very st straightforward, a very basic thing. I basically have this script which is always running in the background, always. Uh, but it is it is running after every one minute, which is probably fine. If I lift my laptop, I can wait for like few seconds, or because let us say the script ran just now. Now the, it is still waiting for another minute, and maybe the script the moment I lift my laptop, um, sometimes it is immediately after it, or maybe after a couple of seconds, or if it is worst case scenario, it is after one minute, right? So I I can wait for one minute, not a problem, and. Uh, uh, this approach has been working wonderfully for me in case I, I mean if you're doing these things on let us say windows windows will take care of it right but because we, we, we are linux guys we want to do things ourselves we want to learn how this is done how this how we can do it more efficiently and i run this script automatic i mean not really automatically but i run this script after every one minute because i have the script the path to the script in my uh excellent rc so the moment i start my uh dwm X in RC starts running or it will basically run these scripts in the background for me and that is it a very simple approach it works really 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 nicely and never never really had any issues so far I think I, I've, I've been using this approach for the past I guess more than may, maybe I guess I, I don't really really know but I think it has definitely been it has been like maybe a, maybe a, maybe a year I guess something like that but works really well it is not super accurate it's not instant and i'm sure there is a better way of doing it but it works for me so i guess i'm fine with it all right that is it that is all i wanted to talk about today uh and yeah i hope i hope you found something useful and you learned this and you i hope you found something something useful and you enjoyed watching this video all right bye bye